What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Jake Shavink here, and we've already talked a little bit about the safety class in the 2023 NFL Draft with Brian Branch. Now we're going to talk about Georgia's Christopher Smith. And although he only weighed in at 5'10 and a quarter, 188 pounds down at the Senior Bowl, he has all the traits to be an effective player at safety on Sundays. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to dive into the film and take a look at why Christopher Smith is a really, really good prospect. Safeties are asked to do a lot in the modern NFL. One of those things is running the alleyway and making tackles from depth. Christopher Smith does this at a high level. You know, he does a great job getting downhill with impressive speed, but he also finishes with authority here against Ohio State, knocking the running back's helmet off. But again, yeah, when you finish with that type of authority, you know, and it's consistent, you know you've got a great tackler on your hands, and that certainly shows up everywhere with Christopher Smith. Just in run defense, too. Brian Robinson's not an easy guy to tackle and really wasn't in 2021. Christopher Smith made it look easy. Getting off the tight end, a block there, and making the tackle for a minimal gain. Put him here at linebacker, basically, against Florida, and he wraps up with ease. How about another tough back to bring down? Chris Rodriguez, no problem. We'll bring him down. Again, another thing in the modern NFL, the yards after catch NFL, what do safeties have to do? We have to be able to tackle an open field. Christopher Smith does this at a high level as well. Once again, Brian Robinson on the Texas route. You know, this is a heck of a play in open space. Bring him down. Limit yardage after the catch. Another guy who was tough to bring down and one of the most productive players in the SEC, Jalen Hyatt. Not once, but twice does Christopher Smith bring him down in the open field. The second time with Hyatt trying to set him up inside once he's got the ball in his hands. When it comes to processing speed and closing, Christopher Smith does that really well too. Closes here on the crossing route against Florida. You know, when it terms of click and close late in the game here against Hyatt, when he recognizes that Hyatt isn't really setting him up, he's, he's looking more inside to run the slant route. Here closing for a minimal gain against Mississippi State. And here's where the ball production begins. Closes really quickly on the seam route here to disrupt at the catch point for a pass breakup. Another one here. Closing. We're running play action here. Florida is. Crosser, not many pick him up. Christopher Smith closes quickly, disrupts the catch point. Even if the throw's behind, nobody's making that play. How about dropping in here against the tight end and coverage? Bryce Young actually puts a really good throw on this. This placement is excellent, but props to Christopher Smith with staying with it at the catch point and making the pass breakup happen. How about covering from the slot on a crossing route? Christopher Smith says, no, I'm not going to turn around. I'm going to stay in phase. I'm going to keep closing with speed, and I'm going to play the catch point. I'm going to play the defender instead of the ball. Here in the national title game, reading Bryce Young's eyes, closing with impressive range. He wants Ja'Cory Brooks on this corner route. Floats it up there. Chris Rosset says, no, I'm going to disrupt the catch point as well and make the play. Bo Nix leave this one out. He's got his buddy. He's wide open. Knows he's got this play. He just left it up too high, and Chris Smith comes in with authority to disrupt the catch point. Another look here, just the balloon that is thrown here. Believes he has a touchdown or a big play. Nope incomplete instead how about the recognition skills knowing dj uyangalale is throwing this ball on the slant impressive closing speed and then converts with a pick here and yes takes it all the way back for six points how about this one here against alabama reading bryce young's eyes gets help from his teammate who definitely squeezed mechie on the route but he finishes with a turnover great job peeling off his man how about this oregon motions into quads bryce bo Nix believes he has a guy here up the seam. Nope. Christopher Smith closes, makes the play. Impressive pick there. That's coming in with a lot of heat. What else can he do, right? How about drop into the robber and be it, you know, an enforcer in the middle of the field? He can do that. Didn't ask him to blitz a ton, but how about this? Getting around the tackle here, gets a hands of the face, but still forces pressure and a throwaway. How about the transitional quicks here? It's a great job there flipping the hips. This is great recovery skills against Julian Fleming in the playoff game this year. We saw a lot of this on tape as well, and it was just, there's too many to put in. It looks really simple, but the route recognition, realizing, okay, tight end's coming on the crosser, I need to close space and limit the window. How about in the national title game? Need a play early in the game? How about a forced fumble? I'll take care of it. Christopher Smith really can do it all. Look at this. How about it? Let's get one of those. Let's flip the field. Let's, let's build a lead early. And here we go. He drops into single high, same game against TCU. 
coverage is looking at Quentin Johnson gets caught doing so. His teammate gets beat twice. How about the hustle to save a touchdown? Now, not everything's perfect with Christopher Smith for sure. I mean, this is pretty good speed hanging with a 4-3 receiver in Hyatt, but you can tell like speed in man coverage kind of bothers him. Here, this is a tough call. This is a good speed turn to stay in phase a little bit, but a late adjustment at the moment of truth still wraps up in space though. Again, this is another tough play. Recognizes that the, they're going vertical here. Actually gets himself in great position. This is good process. Even disrupts a catch point. Just the receiver hung out. Here you see a little bit of this where he opens up a little bit too early as well against Florida. So as you can see, I mean, Christopher Smith, despite the diminutive frame, really to play safety in the modern day NFL, handling a lot of collisions, right? Being an enforcer. Obviously, that frame is concerning, and that's probably why you won't see him go as high as maybe I think he should. Again, he's one of my favorite prospects just because, again, the processing skills are off the charts. He's a field general on defense, you know, just recognition skills with routes, understanding where receivers are going to be going, right? Just all the tips he gets from them. But again, running the alleyway, making tackles in open space, being a robber, you know, in coverage, blitzing, like he just does it all. And that's why he's one of my favorite prospects in the 2023 NFL draft. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on Christopher Smith. If you did, drop a like down there. Give me some thoughts on Smith in the comments section. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know any other prospects you want to see up until the NFL draft. I'll catch you guys in the next video, though. Farewell.